All right, guys, welcome back to day number two in this series where I'm showing you nine different ways to get clients for your funnel agency. And day number one was all about going to Pinterest, finding inspiration for landing pages, then taking a screenshot of the landing page using Fireshot, uploading that to smart mockups, creating these smart mockups and adding them in Canva, creating these social media posts, adding them to your portfolio, and then going into Facebook to your profile and other group, getting your name out there, and then closing more clients in DMs or sales calls. And today is all about story selling, right? So we're gonna use stories and we're gonna tell different stories to get clients coming to us instead of us having to go to them and trying to pitch them and just being annoying to them. And so with that said, the first way that you can tell stories is to show people the epiphany moment that you had when you realized the power of sales funnels. And so at one point you were sitting there in that situation with the belief that a website is you know, the best way to get clients and to get customers and to get leads for any type of business really before you knew anything about funnels and so maybe people are in your industry and in your community and people who are following you right now maybe they're in the same belief that websites are the key they've invested heavily into websites they don't have a lead magnet they don't have a way of getting clients or getting leads consistently and so what you have to do is tell them the situation or the event that happened in the moment that it clicked for you and you realized that funnels were the key to success. For me, for an example, this is when I purchased the book Expert Secrets from Russell Brunson, and he would walk me through the different industries of people using funnels and the success that he had in any type of industries using click funnels and using funnels. And that's the moment that it hit me like, man, everyone needs a funnel. And no matter what industry you're in, you need funnels, but you just use a different type of funnel that works for you. If you're selling high ticket, you use a phone funnel. If you're selling low ticket, you use an order form funnel. And if you're in e-commerce, you use an e-commerce funnel. And, and that's when I realized like, man, you just adapt, but the sales process is the same. And so the pages might change, but the, the process is the same. And so that's when I realized like, man, I need a funnel, but for this industry, I could use this one and so on and so forth. And so that's the first way of telling stories of like when you realized Maybe it was of you watching a YouTube video. Maybe it was of you reading a book. Maybe, maybe it was for you when you visit an event for the first time. And so that's the first step, epiphany moment. Now, the second way that you can go about getting clients is to throw rocks at the competition. So I remember in the ClickFunnels community, I remember when Russell Brunson, they used to talk about Confusionsoft. And I was like, what's Confusionsoft? It turned out it was a software called Infusionsoft, but it's super confusing and I didn't know until I wanted now to try it and see for myself. And so I tried it out. It was so complex and so confusing. So I just bought more into ClickFunnels and was just more invested and determined to use ClickFunnels because it was fast and easy to use. And so when you're telling stories or you want people to use ClickFunnels so that to get a funnel from you, you got to throw rocks and explain why the old way is no longer working, why the old way is not the best way anymore. For an example, funnels versus websites. That's throwing rocks at the old way and why it's not working. It's confusing and it's overwhelming and it's getting people to just exit the website instead of actually taking action. Okay, so number three is about common mistakes. And so let's say a lot of people are using click funnels, but they're not getting results with their funnels. Okay, so as a funnel expert, you can now tell people like, here's the common mistakes and the reasons why people just like you are not getting results with your funnels or why your funnel is not converting. And it's because you don't have a clear message. You don't have clean and professional design. You don't have follow-up systems in place. You don't have an email sequence. You don't have this, this, or that. If you want me to help, send me a message and I'll take a look at your funnel and I'll tell you what's wrong. Now you're positioning yourself as an authority in the industry, right? And so now they wanna reach out to you and, and let you know like, hey, this is my page. Can you take a look at it? Okay, so now step four, which is called the second stage tip. And this is how you teach the second step, right? You give them value and then you tell them, but first you need this thing, right? It makes sense when you uh, think about it, you teach them how to use emails to increase their conversions, their follow-up, right? Through automations. And then you say, this is the second stage, but first you need a clean design. If you want me to design your funnel, let me know, okay? Or reach out or send me a message, right? So this is a good way for you to teach the second step, right? It could be a tutorial. It could be something where you're providing value and you're saying, but first you have to have good copy and then you do the copy for them or you have to have great design and you do the design for them or you have to have great follow-up sequence because otherwise it's not going to convert. And then now they want you to do it 
because they see you as the expert because you have the knowledge of how to do it. They just don't have the time to do it or they don't have the knowledge to do it. And then obviously number five is client success or a case study about a client success story. So this is where you post on social media, tell a story about this client who came to you. They had this specific problem. They didn't know how to increase their conversions. They didn't know what was wrong. And the, the, the only thing that we did was we tweaked the sales message, the design, and then we split tested two different pages. We increased the conversions from 5% to 12% and I can do the same for you. So if you want my help, send me a message or comment below and I'm happy to help out. Now, number six is all about objections. So let's say people are interested, they still have objections, right? If you have 5,000 Facebook friends, a lot of people are still gonna have objections as to why they don't think they need funnels or they don't think they can afford you or they whatever it is, right? And so these objections could be anything between, you know, click funnels, it could be pricing, it could be, Oh, it's not going to work for me in my industry. It could be, well, I'm not good enough to then actually use this. Man, I don't have traffic. A lot of different excuses, right? That's the only thing objections are. They're excuses for why they're not taking action and buying your services. And so write down a couple of different objections and then tell stories to break those beliefs, those false beliefs that they have. Like for an example, if it's an internal belief, like, man, I'm, I'm not a techie person. So even if you built me a funnel, I don't know how to use it. Well, tell stories about how clients come to you and you take care of everything for them. So this client came to me, we built the funnel, we launched it, everything A to C without the client having to lift a finger. And so if you suck at techie stuff, well, let us handle all of that for you. And so not only are we gonna build a funnel for you, but we're also gonna take care of it for you on a monthly basis free of charge for the first two people that come to us. That's an example of another story that you can tell. And so anyways, that's a couple of ways that you can tell stories to overcome objections, to create belief, to change belief, and to make them excited about working with you. Instead of having excuses, they're now gonna ask you how much you charge, and that's when you use the DM closing playbook, which you can find linked below if you don't have it already. And that's gonna help you close more clients. That's it for day two. I'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe with, post notifications on so you don't miss any of these client getting videos in this series. I'll see you tomorrow.